I'm going to do some of the uh, parts over here. Kind of add some of the darker shadows. I'm going to strengthen that line. Pull. There we go. Notice for the metal, as I mentioned before, you have this totally dark line right next to the light line, and that's actually uh, how you get the metallic look. As long as you have that transition somewhere on the piece, you'll have the metallic look. I added one more thin line right there. And then you have on the dark side, you want to kind of have the color blend a little bit on that side. Go ahead and focus on shading some of the hand here. Just kind of blending some of that color, the background color here, a little bit into the hand. And I'm going to put this uh, kind of bright pink color of the knuckles. And I'm going to kind of run that down and then have the highlights and add a little bit of highlight on the knuckle. I'm just kind of getting rid of the drawing lines that I had there originally because they're not going to show up in the actual painting. I add a little bit more pink to the secondary knuckles and to the tips of the fingers and I'm not sure what color I'm going to use maybe this kind of brown color. I'm going to have to go to size 1. Normally I'd never have to go to size 1 when I work at 300 dpi, but this one's not 300 dpi, so that's why I'm having to use a size 1 brush so often. I need that to be bright. I'm going to add a little bit of bright highlights along that part of the fingers. And to know, you know, how to draw hands from memory, you just kind of, and I'm just kind of winging it, but when you wing it long enough, you start to get an idea of you know what goes where. So what I want, what you want to do is you want to paint a lot of hands from photographs, and uh, eventually what will happen is you'll kind of see some sort of pattern emerge in your mind as you remember kind of what hands look like from different angles, and when the light hits it from different ways, what you know what happens, like where where the lighting hits what, what it does to the overall hand. And I'm, done, I'm not going to get too detailed, something like that. And uh, all this right here, I'm going to make dark because it's all supposed to be our hair back there and part of the cape and this is going to blend into the rock anyway. So I want it all dark. I'm going to kind of make this kind of color like that. And kind of blend. Oops. This is, uh, there we go. And a lot of this here is uh, her cape under. the tree part so I can distinguish the tree from I, I kind of like you know how I have all these kind of different colors working together add some of those up there. And also, I'm going to 
use a bigger brush here. I want all this to be dark as well. And I want that green. I want more of this kind of purplish green, almost brown. There we go. I'm just going to kind of mix that in there. And then to be able to see the leg, as I have there, I might even add, using a small brush, add a little highlight on the other part of the leg, just where I can make sure you, you know, it, it can be seen. And uh, let's see, I'm going to kind of just kind of blend it in. There we go. So it's all, I don't know what you're, I mean, hopefully you're learning little stuff here and there by this part, you know, continuing this video. Because remember before, I wasn't really sure what else would be learned because I kind of already showed everything in the first parts. And now I'm just kind of repeating different techniques, you know, the same techniques, but different parts of the body. Maybe, maybe you're learning something, I don't know. Oops, I didn't want that color. And see the original I I don't know if I want to go that detail. Like this one you kind of see still even some of the uh, the drawing underneath it. And I this one I kinda oops wanted this hard brush. Add some detail there. And I uh, want to blend that in a little bit. Don't want it to be too dark. So I'm trying to think if I want to, what uh, details I'm going to add here, if I want to add uh, this kind of knee shape and the muscles there, and I think I will, so I'll do first, I'll kind of use this dark color, and I'm going to kind of bring in that muscle, and I'm going to do this with this sharp brush first, and then I'll come in and blend it together, but start out with the sharp. I'm going to add this dark color back here because I want the leg to pop out more. So also you have to think about when you're uh, painting, you know, what parts you want to stick out from others. You don't want them to blend together too much. And so you need, uh, you need contrast between parts. So let's see. I'm just trying to think what... I could add that muscle right there if I wanted. Maybe I'll add just a little bit of that definition there. And then uh, make the brush bigger. Kind of add that muscle. Then add the soft brush and just kind of, oops, blend to that too much. I'm just lightly touching since it's at uh, 100%. You probably don't want to do this at 100% uh, with what you're doing because it'll probably, as a matter of fact, I'm going to turn it down. Depending on what kind of tablet you have, it might ruin it. You don't want to ruin the structure you already had built up before. And let's see here. just want to see if I, how much of that I want to preserve. blend that color. Alright, this wow, almost already done with this part. Yeah, okay. So that's it for this one. Uh, tune in for the next one.